Hello everyone, I am back with another video fluffing my hair and in this video I'm bringing back my product empties and I'll be telling what I think about some of these products as I show them. So let's get to it. Shea Moisture Gentle Curl Cleansing Co-Wash. I do have a review on this product and I'll link it up here somewhere and I hated this product. It didn't do anything for my hair. I have to use so much of it just to get something out of it so no longer repurchase this. The Shea Moisture Balancing Conditioner. Um, This one was an okay conditioner. This is for drying itchy scalp. It was just okay. It's not my favorite. I don't like the Shea Moisture bottle conditioner. Some of them are okay and some of them are not. This one was just okay for me. Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Hair Mask. I really, really love this hair mask. It truly moisturizes my hair and a little bit goes a long way. So I was able to use this like several times before I finally ran out of it. So I would definitely repurchase this and I truly like this container. So I'm gonna take this out and maybe put my shea butter mix in here. The Ali K Naturals Botanical Hair and Scalp Balm. I really like this. I use this to like grease my scalp, to put it on my scalp. And I truly love it because it didn't give me like build up and anything like that. So it was a really good on my scalp and loved it. Alma and Olive Heavy Cream. This one I did order online and I do like the Chemi Biologic products. I use it all. I have a little bit left in there but since I was going to do this video I added in there. But I believe I will use up all of this like on my next wash day which is tomorrow. But I truly love this product. And I use other stuff from them, so this is a great line. Then I've nourished through the oatmeal and shea butter body wash. I really, really love this body wash. It smells amazing, and I love it. But then I've nourished and soothed oatmeal scrub and mask, and I really like this on my face. It has like a really, really creamy texture, and it has little beads in it. But it has more of the cream than beads so this will actually be good for somebody that may have like sensitive skin because it doesn't have so many beads where it might be irritating to the skin Veet uh, in shower cream botanical inspiration hair remover I really love this product and I have been using it for a really long time but however I don't like this bottle with a pump and that might sound weird, but it's because this product is really thick and this and the pump doesn't go all the way down. So after a while, it's hard to get the product out. And even when I tilt it up, it's just so hard to get the product out. So some of the products always end up being wasted. As you can see, there are some products in here, but it's been like so long. So I have been purchasing this product in a tube. A Thousand Wishes from Bath & Body Works. This was my very, very first time trying a Bath & Body Work uh, shower gel. And I loved it. And I have like so many more that I'll be going through. Clinique Dramatically different moisturizing gel. I had this gel for like so long. I wanted to like run out of it so I can try other things because this it lasts for like a very long time. A, a pea size goes a long way but however I loved it but next time I'll try the lotion versus the gel. Clinique, these are like two bottles of Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, eyelashes, and lips. And this is like my all-time favorite eye makeup remover. I love this stuff. Like if I don't have this stuff, then I don't do eyeliner and mascara because I don't like how the stuff deposit right here and all that stuff. But this takes it out like perfectly so I will continue to repurchase this. I got this as a sample when I purchased this. It came with a bag and out of both of them. A candle from Bath and Body Work. And this is like Fireside. Oh, this is like my favorite. This is the Marshmallow and Fireside. And this is my favorite scent for like the cold weather. So out of one. L'Oreal True Match. I ran out of it and I don't know where the lid went, but I really love this product. It does well on my skin. Three Jordana liners. I use them 
the dark ones I use them as eyebrow pencils and then the really light ones I use them as lip liner and I love them and will continue to purchase the Jordana um, pencil these are the automatic pencil and they work so well per version I got this from Sephora not sure if you can see this is supposed to still have some product in it for me but this is such a big waste because I bought the per version I love it it's like a cream uh, eyeliner in a pencil form but the thing that was so disappointing is the whole cream dried and it came out as like in a whole piece so I couldn't use it so I kept on having to sharpen it to hope that I still have some of the product in there but apparently there's nothing in there so I mean I pay what I pay over $20 for this stuff and it's a big waste I did discover a wet and wild has a dupe and Remo London also has a dupe so I will be purchasing those from now on especially if it's gonna dry on me and I don't even get to use all of the products that's that's a really big waste so that will be all for my empties thank you so much for watching this video make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I'll see you in the next video bye